Hi everyone, welcome to this channel. Today we are making this, so let's get started. Start by creating a geo nodes, and inside it, first node will be circle. Adjust the radius so it start to resemble the shape of the soap bar, and increase the division to make it smoother. Increase the width a little bit more to better match the proportion. For thickness, add a polyhedral node and increase the radius. Make sure its output back is enabled. I want my soap to have a round edges, so I am adding a poly bevel node. Adding more thickness will look good. For more topology, add a remesh node. And target size will be 0.1. Alright, the base model is ready. Next, use point from volume node. And make sure to add a normal node right after the remesh node. In the point volume nodes, decrease the point separation to around 0.02 to get denser distribution of points. After that, add a group node and set the group type to points. This allows you to isolate specific area of points. Turn off the base group, enable the bounding region and position the bounding box near of the corners. Duplicate the group node and rename the second group to group 2 and then adjust the bounding region to target the opposite direction. Then take pyrosaur spread. Before adding the pyrosaur spread node, we first need a attribute create node. An attribute name should be our temperature. Select group 1 and group 2 also and value will be 1. Over the nodes, click on the small eye icon on the left hand side. Here you will see the attributes available. Click on temperature. Set the cooling rate to 0. Now hit the play button and you will see the growth and spread of the temperature. If you want to increase the spread area, you can use search radius option. To keep organized, add null and rename something for understanding. Next add a blast node, this will allow us to delete the part of the geometry which we don't need. In group tab add this from under the temperature less than 0.1. This will remove the temperature points which is below 0.1. And group type should be points. To reverse the selection, enable delete non-selected. Now add a VDB from particles, decrease the point radius to get a more defined and accurate shape. For better resolution, set voxel size. Next add VDB smooth node. After that use VDB convert node and set it to convert the VDB into polygons. If you want to add a logo or text on your soap bar, you can use trash node to input black and white image or text graphic. This will convert the image into geometry. I am using some polyextrude node to give the text some thickness. And enable the output back also. Then use transform node to position the logo above the surface of the soap bar. After that, use the boolean node to embed the logo with the soap bar. We will get a clean and subtracted logo on the soap bar using the boolean operation. After that, add a null and rename something meaningful. Something have gone wrong, it's not recognized as well as temperature. Ok, next take pyro source node and connect after the temp. And set the initialize parameter to smoke. Next add a volume pressurize attribute node and set the attribute to temperature and density. Also decrease the voxel size to get good resolution. For simulation we can use pyro solver. Now we need to turn off the beyonds in the pyro solver, enable the turbulence and also set a good voxel size.
add the and add a null node and rename to val if you want to back the simulation or optimize the performance on your pc you can use file cache node for that now for the final part to create a leaf disintegration effect return to soap bar to scatter some random points use scatter nodes then use copy to points before that use attribute randomize node set the attribute name to p scale and also set min and max value according to your geometry i have a 3d leaf object but you can use any geometry you prefer it's up to you the leaf geometry is too large so apply a transform node and scale it down to 0.1 then use convert or unpack node then use remesh node and increase the target size to get low resolution remesh geometry this option is optional for preview purpose i am using uv quick set and importing the texture to get a clear visual references especially in viewport in texture map give the location of the texture and then connect to first input of the copy to points exist is scale in the transform node to fit the geometry properly If you want you can also tweak the scatter points as needed. Okay our leaf setup is completed. Next use fuse node and adjust this name distance to clean up overlapping or nearby points. Then use the ray node and connect the second input to our soap bar. Change the ray node method to minimum distance. This will snap the geometry to our second input surface. For the leaf simulation, we need to use well-known configuration clothes. Here, just change the band stiffness. Something like hundred or even ten thousand. For now, I am setting it to mid value thousand. For simulation, we need a solver. Here, we can use well-known solver. Inside the solver, add a pop activate by the volume nodes and set the soap path to the location of the well node. Change advection type to update velocity. Inside the solver, make sure the gravity is set to zero and disable both fin and drag force as well. Then come inside and also connect the output of the velocity to the source input and the velocity blend to one. You can also control the scale of the velocity here. Take attribute transform node and connect the second input to the temperature geometry called temp. In the attribute field, make sure the temperature is listed. Now copy the previous blast node and paste it here. Reverse the selection. Turn off the delete non-selected. Now it's time to see the combined result. Before that add a null node and rename it to leaf breeze for better organization and understanding. Then merge both the leaf and breeze geometry. Now we can see the result.
yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching i hope you see you again